Hope no Emily's back. Yeah, but she hasn't contacted him yet. He was losing it last night when I saw him. <laughs> That's him again. That time this morning. Is he intending to continue with the affair? Maybe he needs to be reminded that Maxime is innocent in all of this. James told me that Maxine had a hard time falling asleep last night. She's the most innocent, but the one who's suffering the most. Come on, Princess, you need to eat. Yeah, then you can go to school. I don't want to go to school. I'll wait for Mommy. James, just call that bloody irresponsible woman to come and see your daughter. Keep calm, Derek. You're just stressing Maxine out. I don't even know if this is her number. Then what number are you calling them? The one I got the photos from, just assuming it's hers. She's not picking up. Hi, James. Emily, finally. Look, Maxine's refusing to go to school. Can you talk to her, please? Sure. Mommy, are you coming to see me? Yes. Now? I'll pick you up from school, okay? Be a good girl. You think you can avoid me forever? I know where you work and where you stay. If this is about Emily, I don't have her contact number and I don't know where she is. And you expect me to believe that? Listen. I know you want to get back with Emily, but Maxine's also just seen her. Imagine how confusing this is to her. So don't you think you should give her some time with Emily first? And you here, huh? Having lunch? Yeah, I heard from your dad you changed your mind about being a doctor. Yeah, I'm going to do nursing at Poly. What made you change your mind? The nurses from GFPH, specifically those from the oncology department. Right. You're lucky you know what you want and are going for it. Didn't you do that? Actually, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Seriously? But you're so like, a go-getter. Well, I knew I wanted to be successful and make money so I could do whatever I wanted to do. But how to get there, I didn't really know. Didn't you want to be a doctor like your dad? No way, okay? I didn't want to be anything like him. What drives you, Auntie Shira? A good challenge, for sure. Something that's a little out of reach that makes me a little scared. That makes you want to do it? Mm hmm Who knows what I'll be doing next? Maxine, you haven't said anything since you got back from school. Aren't you happy Mommy's back? Yeah. Yeah. Then why the long face? Mommy doesn't look happy. I am. Are you going to go away again? Hey, of course not. Mommy didn't answer. Where do you go? Why didn't you call me? Let's not talk about that. Where's your storybook? I'll read your story. What's with you, Em? Nothing. I told you everything is fine. Why won't you believe me? It was nice catching up on Tishira, but I gotta go. Volunteering duties at JFH. Oh. Thanks, thanks. You've got problems concentrating? It's for Nikki. He's seeing a therapist for his APD. It's impossible to get him to focus. He can't be as bad as Khalid. He has ADHD and I can never get him to sit still. Oh, is he taking any supplements? Supplements? Yeah, I told Uncle Zarif about Nikki's APD and he said he knows something Nikki can use. Do not listen to him. Why not? He's a doctor. Look, smart drugs aren't supplements, okay? They're not okay to take. Uncle Zarif is doing smart drugs. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. But look, he's the last person you should listen to about this, okay? 
What are you doing over here? Admiring the view. I hope you're not thinking about buying over this building and kicking us out. Well, now that you planted the idea in my head. Hmm. Why aren't you over there with your sister and Maxine? They need some time alone together. For some reason, she's giving your sister a hard time. She just needs a little time to reconnect with her mother. How? When James has been forcing Ananya onto her as her new mother. James never even really tried to look for Emily. What do you want, Jessica? What's wrong? Why are you upset? Only for Maxine to be happy again, of course. Boy, son, have you heard? That our smoked Takara chips are our latest hot seller and we're totally sold out? No, Emily's back. Yeah, everyone's hurt. Look, how's James and Anya taking it? And Maxine? Not very well, I've heard. That poor little darling. And then there's Charles. I don't want to hear about Charles. But he's... Jules, has he contacted you? No, and he stopped posting photos on social media. I don't know what's going on in his life. Cyber-stalking him, Mom? Is that respecting his request for space? I'm worried. It's hard enough fighting this instinct to call him and check. Mom, he's an adult, not a kid. It's the same when I worry for you. Exactly. See the problem? All right, all right. Give him some space, or I might just make matters worse. Yes. And then whoosh, April slide down the tunnel. Mommy, your turn. Mommy! Sorry, sweetie. You're not even listening to me. I hate you. Maxine, come back. Can you blame her? She's been like that ever since you disappeared. I'm still waiting for an explanation, Emily. I already told you my reasons. <laughs> Those aren't reasons to abandon your child. You're just fobbing us off. The truth, Emily. That was the truth. I had to get away. It was just too much for me to handle. <laughs> what was Hawk demanding too much of you? Yeah. I know about the affair. I want a divorce. I'm not giving you a divorce. Why not? You're free to go be with Hawk. You don't have to hide anymore. I mean, he is married now. But hey, between the two of you, what are a few marital obligations? <laughs> Ananya was never far from your mind in our marriage. I never crossed the line. Never. The very least you can do right now is let me have that divorce. After how you've treated me? No. Here you go. Thanks, but I'm not hungry. Hi. Morning. You guys are fighting again? Adam was a godson. Did you know that he saved my life? He was a good doctor, a good boy. Such a tragedy. Ah, oh, it's Jess. She can't make it to our OLS meeting. That's fine. Let's just sit, have tea and chat. Have you heard about Ananya? Of course. Top 10 female CEO or something, right? My Louis should have been on that list. But he's in a much better place now. He runs this entire co-working space. Well, let's just say Ananya has an advantage Louis doesn't have. Mr. Charles Kwan. Well, that is true. But you are not together anymore, right? She's with James now, right? Oh, it's hard to say whether she and James ever ended. You know the rumours about them from years ago, right? From even before James got married? 
That means she was full timing Charles. Oh, I wouldn't dare to say that. No one has any proof. Yes, yes, just rumors. But is there smoke without fire? Ayo, the last thing KSUH needs is another problematic CEO. Excuse me, my Louis was not problematic. Kaka, you know what's going on between Adit and Zarif? Nope. Well, something is going on. And it isn't the wedding. I mean, they're not even talking. You know, at this rate, we might never get married. Sorry. Amina is trying to help you with your addiction and you're shutting her out. How many times do I have to say it? I don't have an addiction. I wonder how Dr. Ramesh will feel if he finds out that you're on smart drugs. Would you leave me alone? Auntie Shira, I don't get why you're so anti-smart drugs, which are called nootropics, by the way. They improve cognitive function and are not an issue if they're used responsibly. I see. Is that true, Dr. Zarif? I think she's angry with me. Look, Nina, the diet time use was only temporary. Now that things are more manageable, I don't need it anymore. Okay, but it's not a big deal, really. According to a medical journal, two pills are all you need to function for 48 hours without sleep. I think it's pretty really useful for a surgeon like you. No, 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 Nina, listen. Auntie Shira is right. Stay away from them. They're addictive and there are side effects. Like what? Mouth ulcers for one, headaches, not to mention the fatigue after they wear off. Are you trying to toe the official line and scare me, Uncle Zarif? If they're that bad, you won't even be taking them. Excellent work, Richard. How long more do you think he will take Yoke to be CEO? I hear the KSUH board loves Ananya. Not for long. With those puritanical wives chattering in their ears. You just let the OLS ladies do all the dirty work for you. They can be so useful. But we need to make sure that the information reaches Charles. Only then will our plan truly succeed. Excuse me, is this uh, seat taken? Look around you, there's so many M tables. Must you. Jules? Jules is really you. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? Are, are you okay? Uh, yeah, uh, I've got a sunburn. Sunburn? I fell asleep on the beach after surfing. Surfing? It was excellent. Okay, look, Jules. I'm really sorry. You don't know how much I wish I can take back whatever I said to you. You can't, Cece. But I'll do anything to make it up to you. Anything? Absolutely anything. <gasps> Is that your mother? What is she doing here? We came back together after I visited her in Gold Coast. Cece, if you could just spend some time with Mom and get to know her better, I'll wipe the clean. Hello, Celia. It's been a while. So happy I can finally be discharged. Thanks so much, Dr. Zarif. Madam Xiao, I'm sorry again for what happened. It was supposed to be a routine op, but you ended up staying here for so many days. It's okay. There's no such thing as a risk-free operation, right? It's not like you wanted it to happen. I'll see you in a week for your follow-up. But in the meantime, please call me if you feel any discomfort. Okay. All right, bye. There was Prof Sito on the line. He really enjoyed the golf game on Sunday and he wants to make it a regular thing. Are you in? But I have to be honest, Dr. Zarif. 
you need to improve on that swing of yours. Um, apply for a membership at White Plains. I'll put in a good word for you. Huh? Um, Dr. Ramesh, I've been wanting to talk to you. Uh -huh. It's about the dietary pills that my mother accidentally took. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Those pills that I said are my sister's. Uh -huh. no, they're not. They're mine. Did I mishear that, Dr. Zarif? No, sir. I've been having a hard time coping with the workload of Sito's research paper and my mother's dementia. I have been relying on dietary pills to help me focus. It's no excuse, I know. I'm very disappointed, Dr. Zarif. I thought you could manage the load. Yeah, I try, but... Are you addicted to them? I've stopped taking diotem, I swear. After what happened to my mother and Madame Xiao, I've learned my lesson. How could I trust you when you lied to me about your sister? I'll have to take this to the board. I understand. There will be consequences. Probably suspension. At the very most, in mitigation, I'll say you owned up. Retirement in Gold Coast sounds wonderful. And your apartment sounds so charming. Perhaps we can go and visit sometime? It's just a little place. And the spare room only has a single bed. We can squeeze. I just love how the two of you are getting along. Excuse me, I need to use the washroom. Your mother still hates me. No, she doesn't. She practically disinvited me just now, hinting that she doesn't have enough space for me. But she's just telling the truth. It's a tiny room in a tiny apartment. She'll never forgive me for offending her the last time we met. Jules. She's willing to give you another chance because I asked her to. So please, try. It's hard. We have nothing in common. You're nearly the same age. Okay, Cece. I took on the Shelley name so I could get to know you and your family better. I know, sweetheart. And now it's time for you to connect with Mom. She's the only family I've got on the Dakota side. Then you promise to come home? Of course, Sissy. Amina. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you over the pills. You were just concerned about me. Don't just tell me you're sorry. Tell me you stopped taking diatem for good. I don't see why you need them. You're doing so well, coping so well. Just teach them. I did what I had to do. You don't have to worry for me anymore. Thanks for tea, Celia. Oh, any time. Julius, could you get a carton of milk for me? I couldn't get the uh, payment machine to work earlier. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll be right back. <laughs> You're not the only one. That payment machine's a pain. I can never get it to work myself. What you did to my son was unforgivable. You not only lied about meeting your ex-husband, you told him he could leave. I'm sorry, I really am. What you did destroyed Julius. The last time he cried this much was five years ago, when we had to put Rhino, our Maltese Terrier, to sleep. I know that bad. Julius should have left you a long time ago. But since he can't live without you, I've decided to come and see if you're truly deserving of my Julius. I am. You haven't been very convincing so far. Khaled, where's Nini? She's resting in her room. Dessert, anyone? Oh, yeah, ice cream! What flavour is this? Coconut. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Quit staring already. I fixed the problem. 
I don't think it will go away so easily. Come on, Rose. Hmm? Why do I always get everything last? Because you're the youngest. Hmm? So, how is it? Not bad. Where is it from? Our kitchen. I was thinking of offering homemade ice cream on the menu. Oh, you mean artisan ice cream? Please don't abuse that word. Mama Rose, can I have some more? Kale, slow down. You'll get an ice cream headache. <laughs> Long time no see, Mr. Kwan. Do I know you? We met before. Loa Hong. I'm consultant for the Vietnam Project and Michael Chan Sang in. The last time we met, I was going to tender for the GFPH revamp. Oh, yeah, yeah, Uncle Hawk. <laughs> Big move from contractor to consultant. Thank you. Can I congratulate you? So anyway, I heard that Emily is back. I'm trying to contact her. And? Can you help me get in contact with her? Why? I just want to talk to her. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You two bit low life and affair with my little sister and expect me to help you. I don't want to see your face anywhere near hers. Got it? But you hate my face so much? What do you see when you look at Maxine? I'm a father. When can I see Emily? How about never? You're not to tell anyone you're Maxine's father. You think money is everything? Isn't that the reason you call Michael Chan daddy? If I don't get to talk to Emily, you know what I can tell everyone. Are we negotiating here? That depends on you. You sit there and you think you're something, but you're nothing. You drag my sister's reputation down and will finish you off along with Michael Chan, that gullible daughter of his. Assuming Michael doesn't chuck you in some godforsaken mental institute first to save his daughter. Now take it and get out. <laughs> 